Good morning, Minecraft. Today we're going to look at the chicken farm over there. There we go. Uh, I know we've walked past it a couple times in the previous videos. I have only mentioned, I think, once that it was a chicken farm. So today we're going to do a full review of how this works. I'll explain the mechanism and uh, its yield. I just recently put these windows up there. I don't... I don't know. I'm not super happy about it. The uh, previous iteration of this farm before my world was corrupted, this layer was here, and so it was eight blocks higher, and th I put the windows in the middle row between the... there's another row of logs then, so for the, it looked a little more aesthetic. I might show that one, and I think, I think I'll have to show that one in this video for reasons, but anyway, here you go, come up here. So, this chicken farm works. You flip this lever here, and the chickens begin laying, or the eggs the chickens have laid are hatched. The chicks are sent into this room through water conveyors. Once they're grown up, flip this switch, and the water will flush them to that hole where they come down to the kill chamber or the cooking chamber. Uh, any mobs that drop food will have dropped cooked food if they're killed by fire, if that's something you didn't know. So the chickens will be burned to death here, and the cooked chicken meat and feathers will fall into these hoppers, which will then be carried in an underground hopper line all the way over to the basement of the fortress over there, um, where they will then be sorted and placed in silos. And my original version of this farm, the, there was a sorting room below where they were just stored locally. Uh, my, the redstone for this is pretty straightforward. It's just um, pistons holding back water and a gate that opens in the bottom so the chickens are trapped in this room until it's time for them to be cooked. And up top uh, is just rapid fire uh, droppers that fire the eggs. Dispensers? I think they're dispensers. Uh, it's not a hugely resource intensive build. There is a bunch of hoppers underneath the chickens collecting the eggs. Uh, and that's about the only thing that takes anything, um, any any significant resources. There's a lot of iron, obviously, in the hoppers, but not an overwhelming amount. And you, you don't have to go this big. This, this farm is actually way too big. It can only be ran for a few seconds before it brings the most powerful computer I've ever seen to its knees. This computer is not anywhere near powerful enough, so I can run it for maybe 10 seconds. And even then, I'll be looking at extremely bad frame rates. And I'm not 100% sure how bad it's going to look on the screen. So I'm actually going to switch to a different world. I have the same cooker in a previous version of this world, the one that was a corrupted. But I, what I don't have in that world is the farm is smaller. There's less silos, less hoppers underneath the ground. There is no outpost right there, and there's no bunch of cows right there and there's no iron farm right there and what that does is it lowers the entities loaded in this chunk and that will help my computer not die again because um, I don't feel like replacing this computer a second time because I burned it up again uh, so without further ado I'm gonna go shabam magic okay uh, as I said this one is sitting off the ground uh, an extra layer that's just because in this world I didn't have a, a, a big sorting machine. So this one sorts underneath it. Uh, so that's where all the uh, cooked chicken and feathers and any possible eggs or anything like that will drop down into the sorter. And so we'll have cooked chicken feathers and whatever's left over. I've emptied it in preparation for this just to show you what the yield is in just a 10 seconds of running. Um, I promise it's the exact same machine. Uh, just a lot less entities in this world. A smaller farm, there's all these sheep. I did I had 16 pens of sheep and I was going to do all 16 colors, but this, like I said, this world got a little corrupted and I will explain that in a future video, I promise. Okay. So there's the cooking chamber. Here we go. Same machine. Alright, I'm going to run this for 10 seconds. And you'll get an idea of what this thing does.
a zombie. The machine is off. Um, I promise. It's literally just the residual coming in. But yeah, that was probably not even 10 full seconds. And I think that's it. So <laughs> that's 10 seconds of production. Like I said, it's the uh, it's pretty hard on most computers to handle this. I think I'm probably down to about 10 frames a second, I feel like. All right. So we'll just let those bad boys grow. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, I take that back. First, I'm going to, while they're growing, I'll give you a quick, this machine has a ladder over at this end. So I can kind of show you what's going on up there real quick while they're growing. All right, this is, this little gizmo right here is what flashes. Uh, what are these things? I, uh, dispen okay, they are dispensers. Okay. Uh, this causes a rapid pulse uh, that fires these or into these blocks, which fire the dispensers on either side. And then there's all the chicken cages. Up here, they lay eggs into hoppers and the dispensers. The dispensers full. So we, as you can see, in the 10 seconds I ran, it didn't even hardly use any of the eggs uh, that were available. They're all still completely full. I just would crash my computer if I actually let it run for, you know, even just a few more seconds. Um, and I think there's about 20 chickens in each cell. And I think 72 cells, let's see if I remember this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 8. That's, uh, yeah, that's 72. And there's 20 chickens roughly in each one. Uh, some of them have less. Some of them I loaded up to the point where they had entity cramming. But that is it. They just rapid fire the eggs into the water vader, or the water conveyors, and then that sends them into two ports because I was having problems with uh, one hole. So there's one hole there and one hole there coming from each end. And yeah, that was a little under 10 seconds. So, I do like this. I think it's prettier with the windows in this one, but it sits higher up off the ground. So when I rebuilt this world, I made it a little, uh, I made it a little lower into the ground because I didn't need the uh, sorting room underneath. All right, I'll be back. Okay, they've all grown up. Um. <laughs> I don't know why they cluster in little groups when they're chick or little chicks, but when they become adults, they spread out evenly inside the room. Um, I have no idea what entity cramming in this size space would be, but I bet if you ran this for more than 30 seconds, you'd find out. Uh, hmm, okay, anyway, let's cook them. That never gets old. There's nine hoppers. Each hopper's good for 320, so you're a uh, little under 3,000 items could be collected in those nine hoppers. So that's also kind of another limitation of this build is that if you run the machine too long, these hoppers won't be able to absorb everything that dies. So you have to also take that into consideration. Alright. Go shut 
shut that down. And seems like there's a few pieces of chicken that didn't get absorbed. Let's see if they go in. They might. All right, let's check. Let's check our yield. All right, just to remind you again, I ran the machine for only about 10 seconds. So, and not everything is going to be in the chests yet. But here comes the feathers. Chickens just started. More. That's weird. I wonder why the feathers are spilling over into that. Okay. I'll wait here a second until they're ready. Okay, it's done sorting. And we have five stacks of feathers and 14. 10 stacks of 64 plus 2 is 642 chickens, and 10 seconds are about one stack of 64 chickens per second. And then there's the other five stacks of feathers. So it looks like 661, 75, 675 feathers and 642 cooked chicken in 10 seconds. So that's a, that's a stack of cooked chicken every second that the machine runs. Uh, that is 3,840 chicken per minute, or 230,000 cooked chicken an hour. Obviously, I don't think there's a computer alive that could handle this for even a full minute. Some of you might have some pretty powerful systems, so maybe maybe we could get close to that. I don't know. I'd be interested to see. At some point, I'll post a build video, or maybe I'll stream a build of this machine somewhere. And... Uh, one of y'all with a way more powerful computer can try running it for a whole minute and see if you don't melt your processor. But there you go, 64 stack of cooked chicken per second. Uh, I'm fairly certain that is a Minecraft world record. I've never seen a faster cooking chicken or a more massive cooking uh, chicken cooker. So if you have, leave a note in the comments or something. But this is what I've got. Thanks for watching.